Good morning, Father, Pastor, Doctor. Sir is just fine. Good morning, sir. Maggie's out clothes shopping with my girlfriend, Paige. Yeah, well, I hope they're not buying puppet clothes. Okay, I won't tell you that. They won't be back for a few hours still, so I'll let her know. Yeah, well, that won't be necessary. I'm not here to see her. So, have a seat, Franklin. I hope my insurance covers this session. So what is your current employment, Franklin? I don't work. I sold a formula to Pfizer, and that was a few years back. They made it out. So ignorantly unemployed. That seems harsh. And how old are you, Franklin? Uh, I just turned 30. Okay, mid to late 30s. And what is your relationship with my daughter? We have friends. You know, she needed a space to stay, and uh, we have a mutual friend who set us up. She moved in, since then we're great friends. Uh, sometimes, uh, usually. And what are your intentions toward her? To just keep being friends. And how long have the two of you been fornicating? <laughs> what? No, we don't sleep together. Uh, I told you, Paige is my girlfriend. Uh, so, you all sleep together? What? No. So, is that a um, religious thing? Multiple wives, something like that? How many times do I have to tell you? No. Are you a Muslim, Franklin? No, I'm not. Hmm. Do you believe in our Lord Jesus Christ? What's that got to do with this? Are you religious at all? I don't know what this has to do with anything. My family were Christian, but I am pretty lax about religion and spirituality. Do whatever you got to do. Be happy. So, a Muslim. Uh, have you uh, ever been or now been on a um, no-fly list? Have you ever been um, investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigation or Homeland Security? Uh, have you ever been put on a list for buying all the fertilizer in all the garden shops in the tri-state area? You know, your silence speaks volumes, Franklin. I'm going to keep a watch on you, so you better sleep at night with one eye open. Oh, and don't forget, I am best friends with ex-President Bush's chief of staff's assistants, mothers, occupational therapists, landlords, uncle. So one wrong move from you, and it's Guantanamo, buddy. What in the name of fuck just happened?